what is going on you guys welcome back to another video and to the channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i replaced the lenses on my headlights so as you guys know or for those of you who are new here um, i had a custom retrofit done on my headlights on my e90 um, i had aftermarket angel eye rings installed and they had the housing painted satin black on the inside and then I had the lenses also replaced um, at the same time. I had a professional do all of that for me. Um, but um, right now, like I said, I'm going to be replacing the lenses again uh, myself because um, a while after I did the retrofit, this weird like buildup on the inside of the lens started to appear. I don't even know how or what it is or where it came from or how to describe it really. It just looks like kind of like condensation and like something was smeared on the inside of the lens. Uh, it started to show up um, after a few months of having them on. In addition to that, I also had an issue with one of the rings. Um, there was like a small dead spot on the driver's side um, outer ring. As you guys can see right here, this is what I'm talking about. You can see there's like a little spot there where it's not being lit up. So thankfully this actually happened before the uh, one year warranty ended. So. Uh, company bav group designs actually sent out uh, some new rings so that um, i could have them replaced uh, uh, i recently had them replaced already by the same guy who initially did the retrofit evil headlights so in this video i'm like removing the headlights because of that and so that i can replace the lenses so as you guys can see right here this is the other issue with the buildup on the inside of the lens uh, like i said i don't know what to call it or where it came from but as you can see, it does not look good at all. It happened, it's on both um, headlights uh, right above like where the eyebrow lid is. And I don't know what else to do. So the only thing I realize I can do is just replace the lens. So that's why I'm gonna be replacing the lenses. When I first initially got the car back after the retrofit was done, uh, it wasn't there. It was all clean. The lenses were all clean. So I don't know where it came from or why it showed up. Uh, for a while now, I've, I've kind of just been putting it off and just kind of ignoring it, but now I see the only way to get rid of it is just to replace the lenses again. And since uh, my headlights have already been opened up before, um, it's, it's pretty easy to open them back up again, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, then I'm going to show you guys how I do it um, in this video. So to be able to remove your headlights, you have to remove your front bumper because it is uh, blocking all of the T30 screws that are holding the headlight in place. So that is what I'm doing here, as you guys can see. the bumper is removed you can then see all of the screws that are holding it in place there are five t30 screws holding the entire headlight to the car and then there are two more t30 screws that are holding the headlight to like that bottom black plastic piece so once you remove the five t30s that are holding the headlight housing to the car the housing the headlight will come out along with the black plastic piece on the bottom you then have to remove the two T30 screws to get it off of that black plastic piece. As you can see here, uh, it does take some like wiggling and finagling to get it out of place. And then the two screws that are holding it to the plastic piece are kind of at an awkward uh, position. So you kind of just have to hold it in an awkward way and then use your um, T30 bit to uh, remove the screws. And then once you remove all the screws, you can then disconnect the electrical connection at the back of the headlight.
now with the headlight off of the car we can get a good look at how the headlight was resealed uh, with this sealant uh, that's the black stuff there that you can see in between the headlight lens and the rest of the housing so the cool thing about this sealant is it is pretty much just like heat activated all you have to do is just use like a heat gun or a source of heat and it'll start to become very soft and kind of sticky and easily pryable so once it's heated up and all uh, soft you can use a little cool little pry tool that you'll see me use here in a second so here you can see me use that tool i was talking about it basically you just squeeze it together and it pries open uh, the lens away from the housing. This is a very useful tool when doing headlight retrofits or opening up your headlights. Also a quick note, if you are doing this for the first time and your headlights have never been opened up before, it is going to be a bit more difficult because the headlights have never been opened up and it still has the factory glue to seal them together and it's been there since the car was manufactured, which is if you have an E90, it's at least 10 years. So it is going to be harder um, and you will probably have to put the headlights in an oven at like 400 to 500 degrees for a few minutes and really like pry the headlight lens off. Uh, so it is just going to take a bit more strength and a bit more time. Uh, it won't be as easy as I present it here uh, in this video since my headlights have been opened up before. I would recommend doing additional research if that is your situation so that you get a clear understanding of how to remove the lens with the factory glue. However, everything else after that, you could just follow the steps I take in the video. Now with the lens off, I can give you guys a better look at these angel eye rings from Bab Group Designs. So they're basically like separate rings uh, that are glued on top of the original stock angel eye rings that originally come on the xenon headlights from the e90 chassis um as you guys can see the wiring is all tucked away back there and it's covered by that black plastic piece that's inside the lens that i'm going to be removing in a second here if you still have questions about these feel free to comment down below um, in the comment section i'll try to clarify as best i can so now like i said there is still a separate piece that's still uh, inside of the lens uh, that black piece you see there is attached to the lens by six T10 little tiny screws. So that is what I'm doing here. Once the six T10 screws are out, you can go ahead and remove it. Just be careful here when you're trying to get it out of the lens because it is kind of in a tight little space so you kind of have to bend it. Uh, just be gentle and slowly bend it so you don't break anything. So here is the inside of the lens uh, without the black plastic piece and you can see the little marks that I was showing at the beginning of the video of why I'm replacing these. Um, when I try to like kind of like use my finger to smear it off it doesn't come off. So it's really like caked on there whatever it is. So here I have a roll of new sealant that I'm going to be using to reseal the headlight with the brand new lens I'm going to be putting on. Um, this is, I'm pretty sure this is the same stuff that the guy used to seal the headlights. Uh, I got this off Amazon. Um, I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. So here I'm putting the new sealant in the little like, groove there that the uh, headlight lens will fit into and then seal together with the rest of the housing. So I'm kind of stretching out the little string of sealant there so that it fits inside the groove and I'm putting it uh, all around the entire housing. So here I have the brand new lens that I'm gonna be putting on the headlight. And I go ahead and just put the black plastic piece back inside the new lens using the six T10 screws. So before I put the new lens on, I go ahead and heat up the new sealant that's on the housing so that it becomes very soft 
and I can easily form it into whatever shape it needs to be in for when I press the headlight lens and the housing together. Once the lens was seated all the way in the groove on the housing, I used some locking pliers to clamp the lens and the housing together and just kind of let it sit there while the sealant uh, cooled down and hardened. And then after about 15 to 20 minutes, I would move the locking pliers to a different part of the headlight uh, and so on until I got all around the headlight. So while the locking pliers are holding the headlight lens and housing together in one spot, I go ahead and just start doing the other headlight. So after using the locking pliers to clamp down the headlight lens and the housing together at different points around the headlight uh, for about 15-20 minutes at each point, the headlight should be pretty much sealed together and ready to be put back on the car. By this point the sealant should have uh, cooled down and hardened a bit and should have a pretty secure seal. So here I go ahead and reinstall both of the headlights back onto the car.
this point the replacement is complete and as you guys can see the new headlight lenses look so much more cleaner without all of that stuff uh, on the eyebrow lid there. The headlights look brand new again like they did when I first got the retrofit. I ended up putting some paint protection film on top of these headlight lenses so that it has some protection against rock chips and other road debris that may strike the lenses. I do recommend that so that these lenses last and stay looking clean as they do now. Alright guys, so that is going to do it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, as always, comment them down below and I will respond. Um, I will also link down some of the tools you saw me use in this video if you do want to check those out. As always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you are new here for more content like this. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.